It all began in the year 2015 when Reverend Daniel O. Daniels, by the orchestration of the Holy Spirit, through divine direction and appointment, traveled all the way to Zaria in Kaduna State, Nigeria, to meet with one of God's choicest servants, Apostle Joshua Selman Nimak, the president of Eternity Network International, ENI, and the host of a weekly revival meeting known as Koinonia. Reverend Daniels came in for Koinonia and was blown away by the intensity of divine presence and power that saturated the meeting. While he waited on the queue to see God's servant after the meeting, he caught the vision for Southeast Apostolic Invasion, which will be held in the city of Enugu, Nigeria. His contact with God's servant can be likened to when Saul encountered the prophet Samuel and was turned into another man, fit to lead the Israelites. Apostle Joshua Selman laid hands on him and prophesied to him in these words, As God is lifting me and Koinonia, God will be lifting you and the ministry. This was the prologue of the drastic transformation and lifting for Reverend Daniels and his ministry. This encounter with God's servant was the birthing of Southeast Apostolic Invasion with Apostle Joshua Selman. It was first held at Jesus River Ministries located at Meniru Abani Road, Enugu in the year 2016 with the theme, Wind of Revival. Death begins to happen to a people when first the individuals that are supposed to represent those portals, men and women who have paid the price to be his image bearers, to be reflections of his speakings in the territory. Usually when the devil wants to destroy a territory, he does not start with outright destruction. He doesn't need to. He doesn't have to. It's not necessary. It's a waste of energy. He will find those men and women that represent the systems of God's speakings. Many of us understand the anointing, but we do not understand the atmosphere. Not every atmosphere is conducive for the operation of the Holy Spirit. It is your, it is part of spiritual maturity to be able to discern what atmosphere the Spirit of the Lord will want to operate and to be able to piece together all the systems to create that atmosphere is one of the hardest things for a man of God. It was also held at the same venue in 2017. However, the high level manifestation of power and revival fire in the previous years pushed the meeting away from Jesus Forever Ministries Auditorium to Royal Palace Mega Auditorium in the year 2018. The revival fire never ceased to burn and the meeting at Royal Palace nearly became a stampede as thousands were hungry to have a strong encounter with God. Apostolic Invasion was then moved to the indoor gymnasium hall of Nnamdi Azikiwe Stadium at Ogui Road, Enugu. Still, the fire kept burning and the crowds kept pressing and increasing to see God move. People from all walks of life traveled from far and near to be part of this gathering. Apostolic Invasion was held at the stadium consecutively from 2019 to 2021. All these years of convening this meeting with God's servant, Apostle Selman, it has been an avalanche of miracles, signs, wonders, impartation of graces and mantles to thousands of people and ministries in the Southeast. In these epoch-making events, thousands of people received salvation, instant healing, transformation of heart, deliverance from all manner of oppression. Authority that has been given to me and by the blood of the Lamb, that every altar and every yoke of darkness holding any family at the count of three shout jesus fire is going to move across this place and altars are going to be on fire are you ready one two three shout jesus including the breaking of delay in childbearing which the host reverend daniel o daniels partook of his 13-year childlessness was broken by the anointing of the Holy Ghost at work in the life of God's renowned servant. Today, he has his wonderful twins, dominion and treasure. This is to mention but a few. Apostolic invasion also engendered the Agent of Revival movement, a non-denominational revival movement made up of several men and women of God who are true spiritual sons of Apostle Joshua Selman 
with a strong passion to see the kingdom of God established in every territory, especially in the southeastern region of Nigeria. They quickly teamed up with Reverend Daniels to ensure that this meeting is held every year. Southeast Apostolic Invasion is seven years old today, and to show that God is out to do something extraordinary, earlier this year at Oka Anambra State, Apostle Joshua Selman spoke to Reverend Daniels that this year's edition will not be like the previous years and that he would never struggle again to host this meeting. Little did he know that God was about to relocate the meeting from the stadium to Amadio Event Center. This is a confirmation of the word of prophecy of God's servant to Reverend Daniels. The struggle to host the meeting was handled by God. And this to us is strong proof that we are about to witness a dimension of grace, glory, power, impartations, miracles, signs and wonders such as has never been witnessed before. Therefore, brace up and get set for an unusual move of the Spirit of God. The time is now, the time we all have been waiting for. Prestigious ladies, gentlemen, with Jesus joy in our hearts and a prophetic ovation in honor to the God of heaven, let us receive this system, a product of many graces, our father and mentor, who has committed himself passionately through the seven years of this journey. God has honored every word of his mouth concerning destinies in the Southeast and the Eastern Gate in Enugu State. No other but Apostle Joshua Selman, founding president of Eternity Network International, ENI, and the host of Koinonia, a non-denominational gathering, a place of encounter with the Holy Spirit and transformation by the principles of God's kingdom. Its intimacy, its partnership, its fellowship, its worship. This is Koinonia. We want to specially thank God's choicest servant, Apostle Joshua Selman, for opening up and pouring out his heart to the Southeast since 2016. Sir, we want to thank you for your sacrificial love and for making impact in the lives of many. Many sinners and backsliders have come to Christ. Many lives and ministries have been revived. Many barren women are now fruitful mothers of many. So many yokes, curses and family bondages have been broken. So many hearts have been transformed by the light of God's word through you. We will not fail to mention your impact in the life of the host Reverend Daniel O. Daniels and Pastor Favor O. Daniels, Jesus Forever Ministries, Agents of Revival Movement, Fathers in the Land, and several ministers of the gospel. We love you and we pray for you that even in this seventh year, the Lord will preserve you until the end. In Jesus' name, we love you, Apostle. We truly love, honor, and celebrate you, sir.